Hello friends, Tom Downey here for NFL Daily on Chat Sports, presented by BetDSI, the internet's number one sports book. Let's take a look at the current NFC playoff picture, which is much more controlled and easy and manageable than the AFC playoff picture right now. Five teams already clinched their spot. There's one spot left, some seeding left to be debated, but we do know one thing. The New Orleans Saints are going to be the number one seed in the NFC. They've clinched the NFC South title. They've clinched that number one seed. The road to the Super Bowl in the NFC goes through New Orleans right now. They're going to be a tough, a tough team to beat at home, as we've seen consistently so far this year. While the NFC playoff picture is pretty straightforward, the AFC is not so much. So if you want to take a look at that, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Hit that button to subscribe. Got the AFC playoff picture, coaching hot seats, some candidates for jobs that are already open or are going to be open, and highlights as well, plus a whole lot more. And, of course, all the NFL draft coverage you need once the season ends. YouTube.com slash chatsportstv. Hit that button, folks, to subscribe. All right, the LA Rams, they are fighting for the number two seed. They have clinched the NFC West. Here's how they get that number two seed, a win or a Bears loss. And if they end up losing the game and the Bears and they get the number three seed, the mindset there is, or at least the, the reasoning there, is that the Rams actually lose the head-to-head -head tiebreaker against the Bears, so they have to finish with a better record. Meanwhile, the Rams at home, we'll see if they actually have Todd Gurley, although C.J. Anderson helped out a lot of people last week. They are at home against the Niners. They are nine-point favorites. The Niners, they need to tank right now, which is if they actually do this time around. They have not really done it very well as of late. But at home, I think the Rams will pull out the victory in that one. All right, the Chicago Bears. Well, they have secured the NFC North title. They are still fighting for a number two seed. Again, it's the opposite of the Rams scenarios. They need a win and a Rams loss or a loss and a Rams win. So that's kind of to get the number three seed, they need a loss or a Rams win in that scenario. So in all likelihood, I think things stay the same the way they currently are. Saints, Rams, Bears, and then the Dallas Cowboys, well, they're locked in. They are the number four seed in the NFC this year. They've clinched the NFC's title regardless of what happens in Week 17 against the Giants or what the Eagles end up doing. The Cowboys are going to win the NFC's. They've already locked that up. It will be playing the Giants in a very much meaningless game. So I ask you, should locked-in playoff teams sit their starters in Week 17? Type 1 for to start them, type 2 for sit them. I think you sit them. It's not worth the injury risk. You have nothing to play for. If you want to give them a drive or two, whatever, I guess that makes some sense. It is not worth the injury risk. I don't buy the rust factor. Isn't that just a buy then? And if you're playing in a wild card game, wouldn't you love that buy? Get everyone healthy for the Cowboys. I say this as a Zeke Elliott fantasy owner who is playing for a Week 17 title with him on my team. Don't play Elliott. Sit him. He's taken a massive workload this year. Give him a breather. All right, folks. Today's show is brought to you by BetDSI. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code LIVE120 for a 120% deposit bonus. What that means is you put down 50 bucks. They're going to give you 60 for free. And then DM us on Twitter at chatsports. And we'll get you guys hooked up with an NFL jersey for free. It is the best deal out there this holiday season. 50 bucks to bet with, plus 60 if you use that promo code LIVE120. And an NFL jersey. You're not going to find a better deal. It's the best late holiday gift since it's not going to get to you by Christmas time. But if you forgot about a Christmas gift or you just want something because you didn't get what you really wanted this holiday season, get yourself an NFL jersey. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code LIVE120. Then DM us on Twitter at Chat Sports. All right, the wild card has one team locked in, but the seeding remains unclear. The Seattle Seahawks had about a 99% chance entering Week 16 to secure a playoff spot. They did need some help, i.e. a Redskins loss and some other seeding matchups, or I should say outcomes in other games for tiebreakers and whatnot. They got what they needed. They beat the Chiefs. They have secured a wild card berth at minimum. They get the number five seed if they win, or the Vikings lose. Now, if they lose and the Vikings win, they end up with the number six seed. I don't think you're going to have any issues there for the Seattle Seahawks. They're at home against the Arizona Cardinals. They might not even try that much, and the good news is Arizona is so bad, they might be able to win with some backups out there. So I think you'll see Seattle get the number five seed, which means they will face the Dallas Cowboys on the road in the wild card round. 
but that does still leave the number six seed open and up for grabs. And the Minnesota Vikings right now are your favorite. Now, they get a playoff berth with a win or an Eagles loss to the Redskins. They get the number five seed if they win and the Seattle Seahawks lose. And the Vikings, they're playing at home. They face the Chicago Bears this week. The Vikings are favored by six points at home. The Bears, they might not put up a big effort. I think you'll see the Vikings win that game. The ground game has really gotten going since they fired John D. Flippo and put uh, the quarterback coach Kevin Stefanski in as the OC. We'll see how things go for Minnesota. I think they're in good shape, but the Philadelphia Eagles, well, they still remain alive. They've done a fantastic job. The magic of Nick Foles, I presume. For whatever reason, that dude becomes the best quarterback in the NFL when it's win or go home, pretty much. And he has done a great job. On the road against the Redskins, they must win and have the Vikings lose. Otherwise, the defending Super Bowl champions are not going to make the playoffs. They face the Redskins in Landover. They are six and a half point favorites right there. I think the Eagles are going to win that game, but they don't control their own destiny. And Minnesota has played really well as of late. I think you could see a scenario where Seattle and Minnesota and the Eagles all end up winning and the Eagles get left out after not being able to win the NFC East and having a bit of a rough go in the middle part of the season. So who will be that final NFC playoff team? Type V for the Vikings, type E for the Eagles. Let me know in the comments section. Minnesota does not have an easy matchup. If the Bears try, I don't know if you're going to see the Bears give a 110% effort like we know that they can. I will lean towards Minnesota. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section.